Yo, what's going on, y'all? Y'all already know what it is. This is Tune and Sports. Yeah, we about to get, yeah, we about to talk about it, man. We about to get ready to talk about it. I know I'm late, man. Um, Yeah, man, I know I'm late. <laughs> Shout out to Andre76. He said, free smoke, free smoke. L hoes. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a, yeah, I, yo, I give myself an L. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like, I thought, like, honestly, I thought today was gonna be a, a good day to go live on this. But come to find out, bro, today not even a good day to go live. <laughs> I had, like, you know how it is, man. But, yo, um, shout out to Andre76. Hope Philly get it done. I think y'all play tomorrow, right? So I hope Philly get it done tomorrow, man. Um, But, yeah, yo, let's talk about this uh playoff matchup, man, between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Orlando Magic. Um, There is some history here. You know, we could go back years ago, man. Y'all already know. I don't have to bring it up, man. Y'all know how that ended in that playoff series. But this is a new Cavalier team, so there's no, you know, no reason to bring up old stuff, man. So Magic fans right now, yo. It's crazy, bro. Magic fans is talking. I don't want to say they're talking crazy, but it's like, and I, I don't, I don't blame them. But it's like at the same time, I feel like it's delusion, man. Magic fans, some Magic fans, I don't know, I don't know about all of them, but some Magic fans feel like they could beat the Cleveland Cavaliers, bro. <laughs> they, 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 they confident that they could beat the Cleveland Cavaliers, man. And I blame the Cavaliers, man. We, we, we letting. We 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 did it to ourselves, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> we did it to ourselves. I ain't gonna lie, man. But you can only control what you can control. I could bring up a bunch of reasons why we was put in situations, but nobody wanted to hear that, man. And I had the poll, right? So I have this poll right here. You know, this one right here, the Cavs versus the Magic, it was majority Cavs, but then at some point it started getting closer in the percentage. So right now, it's like it could go Cavs or it could go to Orlando Magic. Now, the Cavs is favorites. They 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 should be favorites, right? They're favorites. But right now, people feel like the Orlando Magic could get at the Cavs. They could beat the Cavs maybe in seven games. Or something. I had delusional fans talking about sweeping the Cavs, and I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm like, yo, y'all crazy, man. Um, shout out to the Magic fans, but yo, it ain't that and it ain't this, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna see, man. Y'all gonna see, man. Um, shout out to um shout out to Angel, man. Angel Rivera, man. This man right here, man. Let me move this out the way. <laughs> So Andrew said, man, he said the Milando Magic are going to the NBA Finals. He said, watch and learn, buddy. <laughs> Shame. 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 <laughs> if I didn't know no better, I'd tell you he's the greatest. I don't care what you say. <laughs> 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 to be confident and not delusional is a real skill. What? Why? You're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. <laughs> Yo, Angel, man, come on, bro. Like, you part of the problem, man. The the NBA Finals, I know I, I got to take it as you trolling, man. But then I felt like you was serious too, because you you I think you went more in depth um on it. But what I will say about it, right? I'm not going to disrespect the Orlando Magic because who's the Cavaliers, right? The Cavaliers didn't prove anything if we're going by last season, but like the Orlando Magic really going to the finals, bro. I I mean <laughs> yo, 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 Angel. Stay off the weed. Duh. 
Yeah, man, it, it's 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 bad, man. It's bad out here, man. But I'm look, I'm going to take your word on it. I'm going to watch and learn. I'm going to see what happens in the series, right? But Angel, you tripping, man? I just had to pull you up real quick because that that comp, come on, bro. You know you out of line for saying that, bro. You know you out of line for saying that. You ca- you writing a check that you can't cash, bro. Like, come on, Angel. <laughs> But shout out to the Magic fans, man. Talk your talk. I ain't look. Talk your talk, bro. I, Cause I'm gonna talk my talk. You know, I don't care how everybody else feel. I'm getting my perspective. I feel confident. That that's me. Everybody don't feel too confident, and shame on y'all. I understand. But me personally, I move past whatever happened. We in the playoffs now. I'm confident, man. I'm confident in um in, in this group of guys uh going into this postseason. I like the way the um uh the, you know we looking uh I like the way we I like the way we 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 I, I like the way the bracket. But I don't know, man. We're gonna see what happens, man. But I I feel like this is a matchup you want. I get it. Some people probably ain't want this matchup. Y'all want the other matchup, but this is a matchup you want. And with Donovan Mitchell, you gotta understand, right? Shout out to Don. Um. Donovan Mitchell, uh, he got a week off. He he's basically got a week off, right? So we play Saturday, I think. Um, it's gonna be crazy, man. Um, if Donovan is healthy, I I like our chances, man. I like our chances with Donovan Mitchell. Um, you know, I'm not even gonna say healthy. I want to say because I know he got you know his his issues. If Donovan is is just a little bit of what Donovan is, right? Which he you know he showed it uh in the past game. If he's able to to attack the basket, you know, you know, do Donovan stuff. I like our chances. This is going to come down to, <clears throat> it's going to come down to our starters, man. Um, it's going to come down to our starters. Hold up, let me put this back up here. My fault. It's going to come down to our starters. You know, of, of course, you know our best player, Donovan Mitchell, their best player is is Paolo uh, Bencaro. Um. It's gonna come down to our starters. Um, it will come down to containing the All Star. Y'all already know, and Ben Caro. Uh, the expectation is getting out the first round, right, for the Cavaliers, right? That's the expectations. Um, right now, that's the expectation. Then we see we we go from there. You gotta win the first round matchup. You want you you wanted this matchup, so now you gotta win it, man. There's no reason to lose this. We got to get it done. There's a lot you can say weighing on this series. Um, you lose to this Magic team, man. Just, just, just blow it up, bro. <laughs> blow it up and let Donovan walk. At that point, if this, if this turn out to be an ugly series, which I don't think it will, in my opinion. Um, but if it does, just, just, just let it go, bro. I don't even know the direction. Like, and then we already know people getting fired. Like, we ain't gonna got. We don't gotta go there, but. I'm not looking. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not looking for it to go the 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 distance how some people think it's gonna go. Um, but I I respect the opponent, man. I'm not overlooking no opponent because I think this will be an interesting matchup. It could be a dog fight, you know. But if you scared of the magic, man, just stay at home, man. It's safe inside, man. Go 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 to church. If if you're a Cavs fan, I just feel like you should you should feel confident in this matchup more than any of the other matchups that probably you know would have been different. Um, you should feel you should feel you should feel better, man, about this matchup, hundred percent. Um, throw out the fear. Um, don't be scared. You know they say, oh, the Cavs might not be physical enough for this team. I I get all that, man, but j- just just stop it, man. Don't 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 listen to that, man. Um, I, I feel good about this group, man. I'm tired of the, you know, is the Cavs gonna get out out handled, man? We gonna we gonna see, cause Cavs they they been called soft um from last season, and I I get it, I get it. Can you trust the Cavaliers? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Can you trust this Cavaliers? I don't know what Cavalier team he getting in his postseason, but I'm I'm very confident. Um. Going up against the uh, Orlando Magic, that's just me personally. You don't got to be confident, but I am. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, right? Um, but can you trust the Cavs? That's what you gotta ask yourself, right? 
Um, I trust the Cavs. I'm just come out and say it right there, right? Uh, like they called you soft. <laughs> the allegations is that the, the team is soft. Oh, they don't have no dogs. I, you know, which I disagree. Now I think we added some um some different pieces to this team, but they call you soft. Okay, so here's your chance to prove it now. This is your chance to prove it, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen. You know, you know the guys. I don't got to name them, but like, cause Niang said it, man. Let me put it up right here. Niang said it. Let me uh, let me put it right here. Where is it? I put this up a couple weeks ago. Niang said it, man. He said, "I'm here now." Like what happened last playoffs is not happening this playoffs. And I look, I have to take his word on that. Until I see what the series turn into. He said, you, you see it right there on the screen, man. You, you can see it on the screen. That's what he said, man. He said this season is a year where it's going to be, where it's not going to be repeated as last year. That's what Niang said. We're getting out physical, out rebound. That's no longer an option. That that, that can't be an option, not in the series. Someone's going to get put on there. You know what? Before they can, before they think they can just walk in the paint and get continuously offensive rebound and try to out physical us. I agree, man. We can't go in there and let the magic just punk us, right? This is what Niang says, so I gotta take his word on it, right? Because look, I, 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 look, I'm riding with this team, man. We are gonna see what happens. We gonna see, we gonna see what's gonna happen in the series, man. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. They have all the assets and resources, and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you, it won't. Wow. Because Shannon Sharp got to be a different person than that other person, and he always was. So, so we we gonna see, man. We gonna see what's gonna happen in the trenches, man. Now, I would look, look, like I said, I would say Cavs and five, but right now, I can't say that, right? I will say that, but I I can't say that because right now I don't know the status of some of our players, like Dean Wade, who's not expected to play um at at the moment so far that I know. Um, Sam Merrill, I think is questionable, and we haven't even played our best basketball post All Star break. I mean, we had some moments. We had some comebacks. Um, we had some moments, um, some up and downs. And keep in mind, players being in and out the lineup. Uh, so I just look at all that, man. I, I don't want to get beside myself. Uh, but this, the, the simple fact is we got to win. It's simple as that. I mean, I think it's just uh, – it, I think you, you can't really say nothing else. You got to win this game. You, I mean, you got to win the series. You got you to gotta get out the first round. It is a lot riding on this, and some people around, you know, the waves feel like, oh, the Cavs, they, they, they it's pressure on the Cavs. Uh, the Donovan Mitchell thing, um, he's leaving, and the extension, um, you get bounced off the first round. He's not going to resign here. You have to trade Donovan Mitchell. You have to break this. You have to break this group up. You have to trade this player. It's a lot of things being said, you know. So they saying it's more pressure. Cause look, the Magic right now. Let's be honest. They playing with house money. They, they really don't have nothing to lose because the Orlando Magic, if anything, they lose, okay. They got to the playoffs. They're a young team. You know what I mean? They got to the playoffs. If they beat the Cavaliers, which they won't, but if they beat the Cavaliers, they overachieve. Y'all y'all know, don't, come on, bro. Y'all know y'all don't got them being no – Boston, yeah, you know y'all don't got them going far. Like if they beat the Cavs, they'll look bad on the Cavaliers, and they'll be looked as overachieving. And that'd be a successful uh uh, uh year for them, right? It's already a successful year. They get to the playoffs. You know, uh Ben Caro, uh, he made the all-star team. So like so it's just a lot of it's just a lot of things, right? So the pressure, I guess you could say, is is on the Cavs, I guess. Um, that's why I feel like the Cavs gotta punch these guys in the mouth early, get these games at home. I think we gotta win both these games at home. Um, I don't want to get them no momentum, man. I don't want to get back in their house and they, and you know we gotta play in their house too, just like they gotta play in our house. We gotta go on the road. Um, so that you know that's how I feel about that, right? So I, I, yeah, I'm I'm Whitney Yang, man. He said we can't, we're not gonna get our physical, man. I I. I I don't know, man. Um, let me let me read the comment real quick. What's good, humble? 
What's going on, man? He said repairing floor ceilings, but I had to turn the fan. Yeah, yeah, you you good, man? Yeah, I'm I, I'm a little late getting on too, man. I had I had to do some things too. I'm a little late. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna have the time, but um, it's all good, man. You know, it's playoff time, bro. We 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 here, man. We here. You said worst thing happen is. Pablo average 30 plus. Yeah, he gonna he gonna get some buckets, man. He gonna get some buckets. Um he gonna get some buckets. But that whole that career high he had last time and one of them games, he ain't, he ain't we ain't gonna allow that. Not again. <laughs> That's not happening again, man. Um we gonna I, I trust JB, you know. I don't you know, I don't wanna say I trust him, but I'm a I trust JB uh and his coaching staff, uh and these players to come up with uh, you know, a game plan to slow that down, man. Yeah, don't let them get comfortable. Yeah, yeah, right. You know they want to be inside. That's that's their game, right? Um, I do think though, I do think about the Orlando Magic, right? Um, I say this, like I said, they over if they beat the Cavs, that's overachieving, man. They have that whole come on, like I'm a angel. Y'all know you all not going to the finals. Like, just stop it, bro. But I do think the Magic can get two games um from the Cavs. I do think I think they could get two games, but I got the Cavs winning the series. Obviously, um, I'm not going to be political, and I'm not going to be um, nice and give praise to the other team. Like, oh, this play? No, it's the playoffs. Y'all the ops, and that's what it is. But it's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be a dog fight. Now, you think I, I'm gonna say the Cavs gonna lose again? No, not in the first round. We're not losing. No, it can't happen. Um, I want our bigs to have that hunger, man. I don't want y'all to be looking uh what's the word I'm looking for? Uh I don't know. I don't want y'all to be, you know, I want effort, man. Come on, it's the playoffs. Um so I'm not gonna be biased. I'm gonna be honest, you know, they could make it tough on us and we can make it tough on them as well, man. You know, we both got good defense. Um, they rank top three. Top, yeah, I think they top three because they behind Minnesota and they behind Boston. So they rank top three. Both teams rank top ten because I think we still rank around the seven area. We we rank seven. I still think. Um, what was that? Yeah, we rank seven. So, so yeah, you gotta respect your opponent, and anything can happen in these playoffs, right? Anything can happen. Let me put this thing back up. So right now it's 53% to 47% Cavs and Magic. That's interesting, man. Um anything can happen though, man. But I just I just like our chances um against this this young Orlando Magic team, man. Like they they still wet behind the ears, you know what I mean? Um they ain't live long enough, you know, in the words of big tone. <laughs> um, but the question is. Can you win four games against this Magic team? Can they win four games against us? Uh, you know, so let's talk about it real quick. Let's let's start with like, let's start with the I guess you could say the most important matchup for me. I think so. Let's start with um, the front court, right? Let's talk about the front court. Um. Shout out to Humble. Let's talk about the front court. Uh, you don't want him to get comfortable, like Humble said, uh, Banchero. Um, I know I'm speaking like <laughs> I know I'm speaking like we're gonna get him out of here because I do believe I just believe you know that, but it's gonna be a dog fight. I, I'm I, I keep trying to say that right. Uh, our front court, right? You got you got Mobley. And Allen versus Bencaro and Wagner. And I see they had John the Isaac playing the center position or whatever. I don't know about that, man. It's gonna be interesting to see if uh Wendell is coming off the bench. But our bigs, you know, they do have a job on their hands, man. And one of the things, you know, the magic are strong at is it's gonna be attacking on the inside. It's gonna be it's gonna be attacking on the inside, man. Attacking that paint and trying to get to the line. You know, they more interior, uh more they more interior more than anything. Um they, they could get lucky behind the perimeter, but 
they're not searching for that, man. I think they they're going to want to attack inside like they do. Um, they're gonna try to play that bully ball with us, man. Because the rumor is the Cavs are soft, our bigs are soft, right? Um, and they shy away from physical play or whatever. So they might try to duplicate the Knicks, man. But expect expect them to play the inside game and get to the line. We already know how they play. Um, because I'm not mistaken, they like number one in free throw attempts. I could be wrong, but I, I thought I saw they was number one in free throw attempts. And I don't want our players or bigs to be in foul trouble, man. That's one thing. Um, you don't want your players to get in foul trouble um, that you need. But I do think uh, um, Paolo uh, will have a decent series. I do think that uh, he's he, he's all star this se- this season, right? Uh, he's he uh, he had a his highest against us was forty two points, right? He had a career high in the regular season um, series against us. I know he scored 43 after that against the Knicks. So, but he ended up scoring 42 against us. I remember that. But his other games against us were just, you know, okay. Uh, we we got to match the aggressiveness and we got to grab the rebound. We got to get the boards. Yo, Twin Towers, y'all already know what y'all got to do, man. Y'all got to handle y'all business. Y'all going to have to bang, bro. Like, I'm sure Tristan and Mook been in, you know, been preparing y'all, you know, because look, this is the real deal, man. None of that soft stuff. They might get some second chance opportunities, but you know, don't give up. Don't get don't get depleted. You know, give effort, man. Don't give up on these plays. It's the playoffs. You need effort in the playoffs. You need defense in the playoffs. You know. On here it says Cavs are ranked almost uh, in the top ten when it comes to the uh, defensive rebound. So I, I expect us to handle the glass. You know, Mobley and Allen are good rebounders, and they better rebounders than the Magic players, I believe. But they're gonna have to fight. They they, they think about that next series, man. They're gonna have to fight, man. Um, think about that next series. I, I I believe because the Magic is, I guess you could say. Similar to the Knicks when it comes to the uh they don't have the offense. That's one thing I, I keep thinking about. But they have the defense, they physical, they got size. Um they got size. So they have the defense and physical play. The magic, the magic bigs, they they not gonna they're not just gonna be like, oh here, here you go, Mobley. <laughs> like yeah, you could you could do what you here get the read. No, they're not gonna say here you go, Mobley. Have a nice day. Nah, you gotta bang in that paint, man. You gotta you, you can't get outworked by you know by the other big man. But you're gonna you, look. You're gonna have Mobley on uh, Paolo. You might see Niang on them in this series. <laughs> you know, get in. They, they they might get Niang in foul trouble, man. Shout out to Niang. <laughs> But you might see Niang, we know Niang, man, that boy, man, he be averaging like five fouls, man. Niang <laughs> 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 be, be having the, the, the D them guys, man. The, he be having to defend them Zions and them, them bigger fours, right? And, you know, Niang is, is, is built for it. You know, we don't want him on those, you know, those no quick players. He's He's built for it. Uh, let me see what Humble said. He said we didn't have Max last year in the playoffs, so I'm interested to see what happens with him. Yeah, so a part of that front court, well, you know, Max is going to be at the three. So I guess, you know, part of that front court. Uh, yeah, we didn't have Max last season, last playoffs. I think Max will definitely make a difference because you're going to need the – excuse me, you're going to need the spacing. He, he brings – Three point shooting. That's you need that. You you need that, man. Last time I checked, threes are more than twos, man. The Magic they're gonna get the twos, right? But we got the three point. We got the shooters on our squad. Um, I, and Max is a winner. Max, Max, Max is a winner. He been there. He been you know deep in the playoffs. He been to the finals. Uh, he's a competitor. He come from that Miami Heat culture. So I'm glad we have him on our team. Um, we have guys that with playoff experience. That's gonna be. That's gonna be huge, man. Um, but I don't want 
I, one thing I, I hope I don't want our guys to get in foul trouble early. So, um, it's the playoffs. They're gonna it's gonna be physical. So you so you got Paolo offense versus Evan Mobley defense. Who you think wins that? Who you think wins that matchup, man? Um, between the two, man, you got his offense versus Evan Mobley defense. Um, uh, Paolo will try to out muscle. He's gonna try to muscle his way inside. Um, he got a he got some pounds on Evan Mobley, man. Uh, Evan Mobley like seven foot. Paolo, it's like six ten ish, but he's like you know what I mean, like bigger. Right? You get what I'm saying? Um, they're gonna try to score inside. You know, that's just that's just what they're gonna do. Um, they're gonna try to score inside. The outside game is not really crazy. Uh, they want the worst, you know, when it comes to that. Now, they could become a problem if they're able to hit shots from the perimeter, but they ain't shooting at the clip we do. You know, we sh- we could shoot at that clip. We know how to empty the clip. We could we could we could raise the bar, right? Um, but that's just you know what I got for that, in my opinion, with that front court, right? So let's move along, right? Let's talk about the back court. You said, "Will Cavs play playoff defense?" I, look, man, I, I expect, you know, some teams, defense, when the playoffs start, defense starts to, you know, it starts to raise. They start to clamp down on defense. The defense start to amp up when playoff time comes. So I expect Struess, I expect these guys to, to turn it up, man. Hopefully. We hoping, right? I can't go out there and play for them. They got to go play, right? Um, Hopefully they turn it up, man. I expect the defense to be good because both teams play defense. They both rank top 10 defenses. Magic play great defense. Um, they got they got defenders on that team, and they they got the size. You know that that's that they big over there, man. But let's talk about the back court though. Let's we talked about the front court a little bit. Um, from my perspective, let's talk about the back court, right? So y'all already know. It's gonna be we, we got Donovan Mitchell. He got he got some rest. Uh maybe the key matchup when it comes to the backcourt will be Donovan Mitchell versus Jalen Suggs. I know we hope we're gonna see with DG. DG gonna have to gonna have to perform. Um, but the key matchup will be Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Suggs. And I do think we have a bigger advantage here, in my opinion, because let's be honest, their guards not messing with our guards, bro. You gotta be honest. They're not messing with our guards offensively. <laughs> it's a bigger gap there, you know, comparing, you know, when it comes to comparing those matchups um, offensively. We have a superstar slash uh, all-star on this team. Um, you know, DG from all-star, uh, Donna Mitchell superstar, uh, MVP season, type of season. He's the best two guard in the game. He's, he's going to be the best player in the series. He is the best player in the series, and he should be the best player in the series. So Darius and Donovan versus Suggs and Gary Harris, that's most likely, you know, what it's going to be. So it's like offense versus defense in a sense, right? So you're going to have Suggs. He's going to be locked on to Mitchell, trying to make him work and make him make the right play, which Mitchell has improved this year uh, as decision-making, I believe, and – his playmaking, you know, he definitely showed another level of his playmaking that some fans, you know, outside of Cleveland, you know, uh, didn't know he could do. Um, so that's that's going to happen. Then Gary Harris or whoever, you know, guarding DJ, you're going to have that. Now with Spider, he got rushed, like I said. And I don't know how the knee is right now. I'm, I, You know, I'm not in, inside, you know, I don't, I don't know. But he got rushed. I do know that, and he he looked it pretty solid the last game, right? Like I said, man, we get you know that Donovan a little bit of that Donovan, man. I like our chances, but I'm gonna be honest, man. I expect Mitchell to win his matchup. Our shot creating from our backcourt is better than theirs. You know they they can't shoot, they can't shoot, right? Like some like let me don't get me wrong, some players can shoot on that team, but they not a, they can't shoot. <laughs> They are not they they not good, you know. And another thing you gotta keep in mind, you got Donovan Mitchell coming back, you know, from that injury, right? Um, we don't know how he's gonna look. I mean, he looked good last time we seen him, but we don't know what um 
Donovan. What well, we don't know the you know, we need Donovan to be the best Donovan. If we're gonna go on this run, if, if we're gonna beat this Orlando Magic team that who's who's a top defense and known for their defense, we need the best Donovan in this series, man. Um so not knowing the 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 the, the not knowing what I'm going to I don't know what to expect. I'm assuming, but I don't know what to expect. But Jalen Suggs, he might have his moments in the series guarding Donovan Mitchell, maybe. But like I said, man, it's offense versus defense. Now, Suggs, he can shoot the ball. I know they, I said, you know, they don't have no, they, no offense um, stagnant. Now, Suggs, he can shoot the ball. He's shooting 38% when it comes to playing us, right? Um, let me double, uh, let me see. Let me see. Um, one second. Yeah, Jalen Suggs. Yeah, he's shooting thirty eight percent from the three, right? When playing us, um, he can shoot, but he just won't bring that same level of scoring, you know, the scoring, the impact of scoring, I expect Spider and DG to bring, if you get what I'm saying. Um, that's just how I feel about that. Uh, the, the last thing, right, we can go to the bench. We go to the bench. Um, Now, we know in the playoffs, you know, the bench gets – shorter the rotation gets short and we know jb already you know he was already playing guys less like you know showing up his rotation so jb he might go with an eight man deep uh rotation you know like he was doing a regular season maybe nine deep if you you know depending on how some of this play is coming from you know our players off the bench maybe somebody not showing up maybe somebody having bad minutes so he have to yank one of them and throw this guy in so like here's my rotation man i'm like for me i don't jb probably gonna go eight deep but for me i'm going nine to ten deep depending on the situation in the series um if needed but i'm expecting nine you know you got darius of course starting um donovan max shrews mobley allen and then off the bench you're gonna have your six man you're gonna have lavert coming in uh who's who we need show up we're gonna have Niang and you're gonna have Isaac Okoro and depending on this the, the status of Sam Merrill if he's available you know if he's available he will play in the series I think I mean you need <laughs> Sam Merrill was lighting him up last time I would love to have Sam Merrill you know I know playoffs is it's gonna be uh you know it's gonna be different, but I would love to have Sam Merrill in the series. But if he's if he's a if he's available, then Sam Merrill and Marcus Morris will be replacing Dean Wade, you know, because as of right now, we just gotta look at it as Dean Wade is not gonna be available game one. That's just how you gotta look at it. And it would be nice to have that extra defense going up against the Orlando Magic front court and you know, and they uh they guard and stuff, but uh yeah, so I think you know having Marcus Morris replacing Dean Wade, I think, I think, I think that could be a thing. I think Morris could see time. I I want more. This is my rotation. I would want Morris to see time. Um, I would want that. So with our with the bench, hold on, let me see. Um, I'm now I'm a, I'm gonna I'm drop the I'm gonna drop the link. It is a quick live because I because I am on limited time. You know, I wasn't expecting to to come on so late, but I will drop the link. I want to hear. I do want to hear your your thoughts, um, Bubba. I will. I will drop the link for you. Um, let me give me give me give me a few seconds. Give me a few minutes. Let me get my last thoughts out. Um, about the bench. Uh, I'll I'll let you get your take real quick. See what you got to say and stuff. I got you. But it is yeah. It is it is a, a sort of a quick live. I I will drop the link though. Uh, but I am on borrowed time, right? But with the bench, uh, with the bench between these two teams, um, our bench has more playoff experience. So you got guys like Lavert, Niang, Isaac Caro, because they, you know, Isaac Caro got a taste last year. 
Um, and even Mook, uh, who battled in the he bat he been in the conference finals. He been there. So you had player experience on his team. The Orlando Magic only have two guys that actually been in any type of playoff situation. I know I was talking to one of the uh, dudes, uh, you know, one of the Magic fans, and you know he was explaining, you know, trying to break it down. Um, they have John the Isaac, who only been in one playoff series. And you, they have um, Gary Harris. Yeah, I know Gary Harris used to play for the uh, uh, the Denver Nuggets and stuff like that. Uh, so they have two guys. They only have two guys. So we have we have playoff experience on our team. Um, guys that actually been there and, and and Max, you know. But I'm talking about the bench. But Max Drews, he been there, right? Um, personally, I would throw. I would throw Mook in, in a series. You know, you're going to get a physical series. You need toughness out there. I need toughness out there. So Mook will be in my rotation. And Mook, he should be built for this, you know, this this playoff series right here. You know, um, you know, have have him knock somebody out. <laughs> have him knock someone out, man. You know, lay somebody out like he did in that Charlotte game, man. Um and Marcus Morris seeing the last couple of games, he's shooting 38% from deep. Um, and Morris, he's gonna spread the floor. He can get his own shots up in the mid-range. I've seen it um since he's been with us. Um, if I'm JB, I say, hey, yo, give him a shot. Why not? Why not? Cause I I I I I try I, I could trust I trust I throw Morris in there, man, getting the trenches with these guys, man. I think Morris, I think Morris need to play, man. You need guys. You need toughness. I think more. I don't know if Tristan Thompson going to play. I don't know. Like I said, situational type. You know, this is all situational type. But I would throw in uh, Mook, man, to get in the trenches, man. With my butt in that. Hold up. With, with, with my butt in that. Hold up. <laughs> because uh, he bowed. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Because Shannon Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. And he always was. See, Marcus Morris got to be, look. Let him, let him get on that line, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would play Mook, man. Um, in my opinion, I, I always, I, I had this opinion before the playoffs was even a thing. I, when we had Mook, I said, "Yo, we gonna we need him for the playoffs, man. His his experience and his uh his veteran, you know, uh leadership and stuff. Uh, he been there. Um, but uh, the Orlando Magic, you know, um, coaching, man. Um. Man, I know y'all out on JB, man. But look, man, look, I don't know, man. I know JB on the hot seat, but look, man, he gonna have to, uh, you know, he gonna have to, uh, you know, step it up, man. Coach Mosley, uh, former Cavs assistant, um, he's going up against JB, right? So I'm still riding with JB. I gotta ride with him, man. We in the playoffs. I gotta, you know, stop with the fire, JB. We gotta get through this, man. Um, this gonna be a battle of the the, the hairless and the great beards. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna say I like my coach chances, man. Y'all gonna y'all gonna put respect on JB name after this, man. Uh, he's coaching for his seat right now, you know. <laughs> but um, the Magic coach, man, you know he probably been studying Knicks tape. You know, everybody want to make fun of us about the Knicks thing. But um, guess what though? Y'all not the Knicks. The difference between y'all and the Knicks is the Knicks actually had offense and defense. Um, they had both. And also, we gotta remember the spacing by the cat. Like, there's things that happened right last season, right? Um, we gotta remember that. But the Magic, I just they don't have the. <sighs> They, I don't think they could generate offense like that. Like the amount of offense, I don't know, man. I just don't. I just don't know um, that they could generate the same offense as the Knicks, man. But defensively, they good. They solid. But our bench is better. I just like our bench. Um, that's just me. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Oh, hold on one second. What's good? What's good? What's what's good? Wait, hold up. Um, I said I I said your name wrong last time, man. Dang, it's not luck. It's uh, it's not luck. It's Luke. <laughs> I think it's Luke. It's not luck, bro. I don't want to mess your name up, man. Shout out to humble man. You know humble real one. I don't want to mess your name up, bro. I'm it's it's, it's Luke. It's not luck. I know we had to. Yup, I got it. Yup, I got you, bro. <laughs> it's not luck. It's Luke. Yup, I already know. Let them. Yeah, let them know. Let them know, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. It says Luke. But look, um, I'm gonna drop the link in a few in a few uh minutes for uh uh for Bubba and stuff, man. Um, but I look. I'm a, I, I like our bench. I'm expecting Niang. I know Niang, right? But Niang talking that that's that talk, man. And now it's time to see what you do in this playoffs, man. He got his playoff experience too. I'm expecting playoff Niang to go off. You know, he 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 been look, he been talking. Now it's time to back it up. Pause. Pause. If you know I gotta say pause. Um, I want to see, I want to see Niang go off, man. I want to see Niang put the ball on the floor. I want to see him barking. I want to see him barking on people on the floor, man. I want to, I want to see him getting the, you know, get the crowd going, get get, get the rock going. I want to see him fight somebody, man. Like I want, I need, I need that, man. I need that, man. I want Niang to bring that fire into this series. Um, <laughs> I want to see five fouls. <laughs> Because that's something he, you know, he he was consistent with, man. Trying to play defense on these guys, um, on these bigger forwards. But like, you know, um, I I want to see Niang. I want to see Niang do good in this series. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but um, we he, he offered something we didn't have last year. We're going against this defense, um, so I won't be surprised, you know, if he's in the if he's in the game because he's gonna be in, he's he's gonna be in the rotation, um, but. Uh, who else? Uh, Isaiah Coro, our, our POA defender. Um, I can't wait to see what he looked like in the playoffs. Is the magic gonna leave him open? You know, damn him to shoot. Coro is shooting forty one percent from the three in these last couple games too. So, um, that's good. But against the Orlando Magic, he's shooting twenty seven percent from the three. So, yeah, uh, you take what you want to take with that. And Karis Levert. Six man of the year candidate. Um Lavert is a question mark. You know, he only played one game versus the Orlando Magic this season. And he wasn't that good in that game, you know. And it's just it's other things, you know. It's other things to note. And and look, the cast with that series 2-2 two -two between the Cavs and the Magic. But during those games, right? During those wins, the Magic did get over us. Donovan. Evan Mobley and Kaz LeVert didn't play in some of those games, just to, you know, for your info. But LeVert, six man a year, uh, in a running. At, <laughs> he's not going to win it, but he was in a running. I don't know what to expect from Karras. You know, we need his shot creation. We need his shooting. Um, He is 51% from the field in his last couple games. Better than his season average. You know, he ended up at 42%. But I don't know what we're going to get from Karras, man. Um, I don't know. Let me, uh, let me see. Well, for, let me see. Dean Wade, Dean Wade is coming back. You know, that's, yo, Luke, that's a, that's a good question, man. Nobody knows, man. As of right now, he's out. He's out until further notice, man. As, as the last time I checked, he's out. Like, so we got to go into this game as in like, He's not gonna be there because <laughs> he's he's you know we got we got going to this game thinking he's not gonna be there man um Bubba if you if you still here you know I got you um you could call in or whatever hit the link but um <laughs> shout out to, shout out to Bruce <laughs> he said the Cavs are in trouble ah oh, man the Cavs are in trouble man hey 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 Bruce man we good man. <laughs> We good, man. But I'm telling you now, we good, man. I'm confident, man. You could you could think that though, man. You could think that. Let me let me let me let me let me hit the button for you, man. What? 
Why? You're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. What? Why? You're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. Part of the problem, Bruce. You part of the problem, man. Come on, man. Have some have some faith in this 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 Cavs team. Uh this playoffs, man. Um Hey Bubba, uh you know, I got you, Bubba. Um, but I won't say how many games. I know I said what well, I said earlier. I won't say how many games. I just think the Cavs could win a series, you know. Um during this series, they figure some things out. Um what if Evan Moley turns up? What if he turns up? That'd be that'd be big, you know. You know, we forgot about his new trait, you know, his space in the floor now. He's shooting a good percentage from the three. Um <laughs> But what if what if Evan Mobley shows up? Like we need Evan Mobley to show up too, man. You said Marcus Moore's in the back. <laughs> hey uh hey 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 Bruce, Ooh. man. <laughs> if I didn't know no better, I'd tell you he's the greatest. I don't care what you say. <laughs> <laughs> to be confident and not delusional is a real skill. <laughs> it's all good, man. Hey, he lead the charge in, in the series, man. <laughs> he said, just stop it. Just stop it, man. Um, Luke said, my brother said that if we don't make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, JB is out of here. Yo, JB is on the hot seat. Even if we, even if we, even if we win this series, which we will, um, even even, even look, even if we get to the to the, the Eastern Conference Finals, I don't know. No, you know what? I take that back because I don't know. You know, Kobe still got Kobe would still be here. Uh, but if he, you know, whatever happened with that, they would use that as we got to the Eastern Conference Finals. So the season what and I said that since the beginning, you guys humble. I said that the ceiling should be Eastern Conference Final. In the beginning, I said that. And I didn't change my stance on it. I still I had to stand on my stance. Like I had us going to the Eastern Conference Finals. And it's possible. I know you gotta see Boston or Miami or Philly, whoever it is, it's possible. Um, do I think the Cavs gonna? Well, I don't think the Cavs gonna go to the finals, but I think it's possible. But yeah, if they get if 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 they get to the Eastern Conference Finals, JB job might be safe. <laughs> it might be safe. I know two people still want him out of here, but it might be safe, man. I'm um, just getting to that Eastern Conference Finals, and they look at it as uh, progress and that influence uh, Donovan Mitchell to, you know, uh, resign here. Um, but this this could be a dog fight, man. But Cavs, they gotta win this. You got home court advantage. You got Donovan Mitchell with some time off. And the Magic don't have experience, like I said, man, as a whole. They don't have the playoff success. Um and they coming on the road. They're not the best road team. So yes, I'm confident. I'm just that's just me, man. I don't know how y'all feel, but I'm I'm confident, man. But let me uh let me get Bub in here. Let me get let me get bubble in here, man. Doctor Space, shout out to Doctor Space, man. Shout out to Doctor Space. Hey, man, I love your videos. Keep up the great work. Oh, shout, shout out to Doctor Space. Appreciate you, man. Respect, love, man. Appreciate it, man. Like, I got you, man. Make sure you hit the like button for your boy, man. But shout out to um, shout out to Doctor Space. But let me let me hit uh, let me um let bubble in. See what he's talking about. Bubba, Bubba. <laughs> what's Yo, good, Bubba. bro? What's, what's good, man? Yo, you gotta change your name, man. Man, you've been running from the you've been running from the grind, bro. Nah, uh, I ain't been running from the grind, man. The grind been running for me, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, put the put the name up there. Let let people see the name. <laughs> put the name up. <laughs> You know, I, I you know, I don't respect for Bubba, man. I respect Bubba, man. I'll, I'll let you get your little shine on, man. Let me let me move this out the way. Little shine, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm let you get your, I'm let you get your shine on, man. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> you think, but, yeah, you you got it, man. Yeah, but uh, I mean, this Cavs Magic series, this this probably gonna be the the least watched series in the Eastern Conference. 
Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are not really going to watch it. Only Cavs and Magic fans, but I mean, real NBA fans going to tune in. Me personally, I'm going definitely, to definitely tune in. But I expect the Cavs to advance. I mean, the Magic, they're, they're a young team. And like you said, they're not expected. Nobody's picking the Magic to go to the finals. And um, JB, JB Baker said his job is on the line. If they get bounced in round one, I think he's getting fired. If they go to the – if the Cavs go to the conference finals – his job is secure for the next two years because, I mean, we remember uh, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks coach, his job was on the line. But when they ended up winning the championship, that gave him like a two year. Excellent. His job was, yeah, his job was secure for like two years. And then after that two years, he got fired. But I expect the Cavs to win this series. I expect Donovan Mitchell to be the best player in this series. And I expect him to step up and put this team away early. And I'm picking the Cavs in five, even though the Cavs could they could probably beat them in four because this Magic team is a young team. They don't really. Yeah, Bubba went on mute. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie though, man. Uh, they don't feel like like. I wanted to say five, but I ain't want to get too cocky. You know, when I get cocky, man, you know, things be going, going left, but I ain't want to get cocky about it. I, I felt like five, but because of how the Cavs was playing post all-star break and, you know, some fans don't feel like this team, uh, they, they, some, we, we going to win, but they don't feel like, um, well, how can I say this? Some people not confident. They're not as confident going up against the Orlando magic defense. Uh, <laughs> but me, I'm confident, man. Uh, Cavs in five is it, is that's that's what it should be. But because of injuries, and I don't know who the availability of people, and I don't know how, what Cavs I'm gonna get. Um, hopefully our big men show up. I'm not. I don't want to say in five. I just said the Cavs gonna win a series, man. But five, you know, I'm not mad at that because the Cavs, realistically, the Cavs should beat this Orlando Magic team, man. If the Orlando Magic team beat the Cavs. That's overachieving at this point. They should not win this series, man. And a lot of people, bro. Let me let me put the thing back up here. I don't know if it changed by now, but they got fifty three percent to forty seven percent, bro. So they feel like it's gonna be a lot close. I, I I saw some people saying Magic in seven games. I, I saw some people saying Magic in seven, but Magic in seven. I don't know. If we got home court advantage. Do you trust your Magic team to go on a road? And beat us in our house. Okay, you maybe you get momentum, but do you trust your young, um, inexperienced Magic team to come to our house and beat us? Beat Donovan Mitchell and and you know in Cleveland and stuff like that on a road, and the Magic is not really a good road team. Um, so we we I I want to win the first two games, man. We gotta go over their house and take care of business, but I want to protect home court. Um, I, I believe they will. I hope they do. Um. But yeah, man, Bubba said Cavs in five, man. Oh. <laughs> Let me read this comment. He said I'm crying. Yeah, Bubba, Bubba had to go on me real quick. He'll be back. Uh, but he said, uh, let me see. Luke said, imagine what we were last year, young and inexperienced. Yeah, exactly. They they what they are what we Yeah, exactly. They are what we was last year, man. Bro, you can you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now, yeah. Yeah, my fault. I had to. I had to take. I had to take care of something real quick. But no, you good? Uh, yeah, I got you. You good? Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm. I'm picking the Magic to win this. I. I mean, <laughs> you I'm picking, picking the Cavs. Oh, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Hey, but, hey, hey, but you go off for a little nah, minute, man. Nah. Stay <laughs> off the weed. Nah. No, nah, I, mean, I meant to say calves. I meant oh, to say calves. I was about to say, Bubba, you with yeah, the hit, I mean, hit of blood or something. What's up, Bubba? You changing <laughs> that quick? <laughs> yeah, I meant to say the calves. I ex I expect the calves to win because this Magic team, they're a young team. And like you said, they, they get a lot of twos. They get to the free throw line a lot. But from the three-point line, they're not as consistent from the three. They're not really oh, a good three-point. Yeah, they're garbage from the three. So, um. The Cavs this is a, have the better this is a shoe and lead, man. You got to put some points on. I know you got to play defense, but you got to put some points on the board too, man. You got to score exactly. from both. Yeah, go ahead. My fault cut you off. Yeah, exactly. You got to score from all three, or let me say all four levels. Uh, in the sense, you got to make your threes. You got to get to the free throw line. You got to make your 
uh, mid-range shots and what have you. And I don't think this Magic team is that, you know, they haven't been there before. This is the first time. This is the first time the Magic have been in the playoffs since 2020. Yeah, they made think, it in 20. Yeah, they I made it in 2020. First time too. I think, yeah, I think it's the coach first time too, I think. Right, right. And yeah. uh, I expect I expect JB to definitely outcoach Jamal Mosley. And, and bro, tell me if I'm tripping. Don't Jamal Mo- Jamal Mosley and uh, JB Bickerstaff? Don't they look? Don't they look? Hey, I mean, I don't know. Somebody told and, me uh, that I, I would believe. I used to bro. say that. Nah, I used to say that. Oh no, I think it was it was it was Mosley and it was uh it was the Wizards head coach. Uh, he got fired. I think uh, you know what I'm talking about. It was, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They all look. They all favor each other around the ball heads. And the right, <laughs> right, right, right. But yeah, 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 I expect I expect JB to outcoach Mosley in this in this playoffs. Because Mosley, this is his first time in there. He hasn't really been in this position before. So I'm a definitely favor whoever's been there and done, whoever's been there and done that. And uh this rookie, I mean, this magic team, this it's it's a young team. Donovan Mitchell's been there, he's done that. He knows what it takes to advance to the second round. So hopefully right. he can, you know, hopefully he can get to the second round. But if I'm Jamal Mosley, I'm gonna tell my guys, hey, yo, listen, we're not favored. We're definitely not gonna beat this team. Let's try to wear them out. Let's try to, you know, just try to beat them down. Make sure even if they advance to the to the second round, make sure they don't get out of the second round. And let's give DFJ hoops more reasons as to why he should bash Donovan Mitchell in this offseason because he can't get out the second Stop round. It, bro. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. You delusional, man. Ain't gonna be no extra ammo coming from this series, bro. Nah. But yeah, I, I expect um I expect Jared Allen to have a, a better series than he had last year. I expect Evan Mobley. This should be his um his postseason um what's the word I'm looking for? His come out party postseason. For, for Evan Mobley? Yeah, Evan Mobley and Jared Allen, both I, of them. I expect I them wanna, to dominate the yeah, boards. Yeah, right, right. They need to. Mm-hmm. They, they got they got to. They they, got yeah, to. they they definitely got to. And uh Darius Garland has to show up too. Now, the Cavs have the better backcourt. I think their their backcourt is way better than Orlando Magic. So I definitely expect um, Darius Garland to, you know, step up in this series because last year he wasn't after game two, he was a no show. I mean, going four for 20 in the garden, that was terrible. So um, this year against the Magic, the lights are not going to be as bright because, I mean, playing in the garden and playing in the Orlando Magic arena, (laughs) it's a, you know, it's a, right, it's a downgrade. So the lights are not going to be as bright. So the Cavs should definitely win. If the Cavs don't win, yeah, this this roster you're gonna have to blow it up. You trade Donovan Mitchell and try to get as many pieces as you can and uh build this unit around Darius Garland and uh, Evan Mobley. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I said, mm-hmm. yo. They they can't loot like first of all, y'all y'all allegedly wanted this matchup, right? And y'all got it. and then it would look bad losing in the first round to uh Lando Magic team that's really not supposed to get out the first round. You know, mm-hmm. they, they just they just happy to be here at this point. Right. You know, they right. just enjoying, you know, the little playoff, you know, settings and stuff, man. This, yeah, this it's, a, it's a successful bad. it's a successful season for them. And like I said, this is the first time since 2020 that they've been in the playoffs. So if they win a game or two, it's a successful season because they have just one all star. And when they made it to the playoffs, they, they played Milwaukee. Milwaukee got them out of there in five. So they're definitely looking to win a game or two in the postseason this year. I mean, it's a successful season either way. Either way you look at it, that's good. It's a su- yo. Look, 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 yo. Look at this. You, you can see the screen or, or no? Yeah, I can see the screen, bro. Look, 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 look at this. <laughs> I gotta put you back up here, man. You see what Angel said? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. This is people are getting beside. Like this playoffs is, is changing people, bro. Everybody's delusional in this playoffs. Yeah, just like just like the soundbite you be playing of Cat Williams to be confident <laughs> yeah. and not delusional. That's a real skill, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. People, yeah. people are delusional, man. Like the Orlando Magic when they made finals, maybe in 2K. <laughs> you gotta make a couple of days. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's not happening in real life. Orlando's not, they're not getting to the finals. So so what you feel, okay, so so cause cause the matchup, um, the key matches is gonna be Spider versus Suggs. Suggs. Mm-hmm. And then you have the front court, Biggs, big front court. You got Mobley versus uh Paolo. Uh who you think uh dominate that matchup in your opinion? Paolo. Paolo, yeah. Bro, I'm, high, I'm high, I'm high on Paolo. I, I think in the next three to five years, he'll definitely be one of the best players in the game. I just feel that way. And I yeah. I, I kinda like compare him to a, a mixture of LeBron, 
I mean, I'm not comparing him to LeBron, but I mean his build, like a LeBron, Carmelo Anthony type type build. Like two, 250. Yeah, uh, two yeah, two forty, two fifty, six ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he, got, he can put he, the he, ball he, on the floor, get his own shot, get to the basket. He, yeah. And he gets stressed the floor out a little bit. Yeah, he got he got a, a little, little bit. Yeah, yeah, he got to work on it. But I mean, yeah, in year two, his second. Oh, Bruce this year. I'm gonna let him. I'm, I'm gonna let him cook. <laughs> yeah, Bruce. Bruce, <laughs> Bruce Chow. Bruce probably gonna bring up Marcus Morris, man. He, <laughs> God, crazy. I think. Yeah. Oh, I love. I love this question right here from um humble man. He said, "Evan or Lori? Who would you ra- who would you rather have? Be honest. I'm gonna say Lori, bro. Are you talking about right now? Yeah, bro. I'm, uh, I was always high on Lori Markin. I always was. I know. Like, I know Cavs, but when the Cavs traded him out, I was like, "Yo, that's a terrible trade." Oh, when the Cavs traded him away, yeah. At the time, he didn't. I mean, I don't think he would have. I think trading on Utah, it, it kind of helped him out. I mean, I don't think he would have. I, I I don't know. I don't think he would have been um where he was, uh, playing uh over here. Um, you had Mobley. I don't know. I don't think he would have been that over here. He was once he trained on Utah, he really got his potential over there. I feel like uh yeah cuz I, I like I like the chance. I mean, I liked the lineup. We we was we was doing that all big lineup. That was a crazy lineup. <laughs> I liked the lineup, but you know, we didn't get it done with that lineup, man. But once we saw the chance to grab Donovan, I mean, yeah, but, I, mean, I I I would make that trade, but including Larry Markin in that in that what, deal. What's, what's, let me let me see. You said yeah, Evan on Larry. Look, man, Evan is still young, man. I'm stay I'm staying look as of right now, I don't know what Evan gonna turn out to be, man. But I'm, I'm I'm choosing Evan, man. I don't know what his uh what he gonna be. Um, right now I know what people don't not really uh too high on Evan because he didn't take that leap that everybody wanted him to take this year. But he's still young, man. So I'm I'm choosing Evan, bro. He got potential, and he and, and he, yeah, he got potential, man. On both ends, I like what I seen for Evan this season, though. Uh, he's starting to shoot the three ball. That's huge. I know Laurie, you know, he does that too. But Mo- Mobley got a chance to be a unicorn, bro. <laughs> Salute to E. Lee. What's good, E. Lee? Salute to E. Lee, man. I mean, me personally, I was just, I was just E-Lizzy. high. What? I was just high on um, what you call it, Laurie Markin. I was, I, I've always been high on him, and I was like, yo, he, he definitely needs to get in a situation yeah, he, where yeah, he got out of Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he got the Utah, proved what he could. What he's capable of doing made the all. He actually, team. he actually wanted. He didn't want. We, he was upset. We traded him. I, I was, a, I was like, dang, I felt bad. Cause he's actually was doing good here, but I, yeah. I mean, you got Donovan on the table. I don't know, bro. Yeah, the, you know what I mean. So, I mean, do I regret it? I don't regret the trade. But if if we, if we lose Donovan, then you can regret it. But yeah, um, bro, you should regret it. Now, now, if I'm a cash, I don't regret trading Colin Sexton. Yeah, you can get his ass out of here. All right, all right. Relax with the conversation, <laughs> yeah. man. He's going to relax on that, bro. I, you know, Kyle and my God, man. I had no no bad thing to say about Kyle and Sexton. I get it. I get it. But he he's he's definitely doing he definitely doing good over there, too, over there in Utah. Um, what you call it? Mm-hmm. Uh, Hold on. Let me see. Uh, uh, Humble said was good. He said it was good, Bubba. Um, yeah, what's good, bro? Um, Bruce, you still here? I ain't even, I ain't even get. There. Yeah, he's on mute. Okay. Yeah, Bruce, Bruce, you here? Yeah, you didn't tell me to come in, so I received my, 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 my bad, man. My fault. <laughs> my fault, Bruce. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, uh, Andre? Um, what up, Bruce? Yeah, I'm glad that I had the chance today to come in because you're doing good work, great work, and I love, mm-hmm. I love how you. Break down the game. I even lo- love the the sounds. Some some of this. Oh, yeah, I appreciate. I appreciate. Man. I try. I try to yeah. be a little entertaining, man. I try to. Be yeah, it's very entertaining. I'm um, while I'm working, uh, those long hours, and I listen to you. I'm like, yeah, you know, you you're good, man. You're great. You're great. Yeah. I, I wasn't gonna go. I, I, I'm on limited time today. I, I, I said I wasn't gonna be on long because I'm on limited time. I I, oh. I, I, I said I'm gonna drop the link because I, I want to hear what you uh what y'all gotta say. If you have anything to say about the uh the game, um, did your team uh tank? I think your team quit. 
They did. Not. Yeah, in the fourth quarter, they did. No, we I mean, didn't. We I didn't. mean, you didn't want to face the Sixers, man. You were in the two seed. You didn't want to meet the Sixers. That's not. That's not all the way true, bro. That's the not, Sixers not all the way true. Come on, yeah. man. You lost to the Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> you were up by eight. I'm like, yeah, they, yeah, they're quitting. Man. They're quitting. You, you think you're trying to manipulate the standing? Come no, on, man. man. We didn't know. Hold up. This team. What about the other teams? You, you ain't, you ain't questioning them. Doc Rivers. Look, I don't know. They, they was looking at the scoreboard too. But yeah. we didn't. We, we look. We, we, we didn't know what the scenario was gonna be because we could have been a third seed. Um, no, you could have been a second seed. No, we would have been a second seed, but because of the, uh, I think because the Knicks won. Like we would have won, I think if we would have won the Knicks because the Knicks won, we would have won. We would have been the third seed, I think, mm. and we would have been okay. playing the uh, you know Pacers. Or, I think the Pacers. So we yeah, didn't no, really know. Everybody wants to play the you Bucks know. now. So, <laughs> man, we better not underestimate the magic, man. Okay. No, I'm not, man. I'm not underestimating. They they got a good defensive team. I just don't need to have that they can generate enough offense against us. I know they got Ben Carroll, you know, he's he's solid, he's nice. But I think I like our chance with our uh the, our front court. All right. Okay. I mean, I I find it funny you put Marcus Morris. I mean, Donovan Mitchell the best player. He should be in the middle. Put Marcus Morris, man. Come on. <laughs> Wow. Nah, I know you. I know you that's might too, man. I know that's your favorite that's player, crazy, man. man. You didn't even put. Did you put Dean Wayne in there? Nah. <laughs> really? Wow. Dean Wade is better than Marcus Morris right now. Man. I don't know if he's gonna play. Dean Wade out right now. So wow. I, don't know if he's I mean, you could put the coach, man. Marcus Morris, man. What is it like? That's a practice jersey. He has no number. Come on, man. <laughs> Yo, Morris was solid, man. I, I know y'all don't like yeah. Morris over there in LA, man. Nah, but he, man, he he brings something to this team, and I, I like what Morris been doing this season. Nah, he should retire with the Griffin today. So. Nah, he he gonna help us, man. He gonna help us get 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 far, man. I think he gonna help us out. All right, we'll see. All right, but uh, so. you said you're not gonna be long, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not gonna be too long, but I, you know, I want I, I want to hear you know what everybody gotta say. Yeah, so I mean, your team. If you win, you're gonna play the Celtics. If the Celtics beat the, hey, the Celtics are in trouble though. Yeah, oh. also, also, also gotta play Miami or Philly. No, you're gonna play Miami too. So, yeah, you should have you should have beat the Hornets. Now, now the Knicks, if they beat if they beat the, uh, if they beat oh no, the Knicks are in trouble too. Oh no, man! <laughs> this is they gonna be. To, yeah, they gotta play. Uh, who they? Yeah, they got. Yeah, right. They are gonna play Philly or Miami. I mean, uh, we already got them going to the, you know, advancing out the play in. Oh, uh, yeah. So you you're gonna play Celtics or Miami or? Oh my god, that's crazy. If yeah. Miami get the Celtics up out here, yeah. I mean, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. I know Bubba. He's scared of. Uh, I think he's scared. He's gonna be scared to play the Knicks. I'm not scared of nobody, bro. <laughs> I'm I mean, not, the Knicks are, I'm the Knicks like are too small for the for the Sixers, in my opinion. I mean, they they got size. I mean, Mitchell Robinson, I Heart. These are seven footers. I mean, close to seven yeah, footers. Nice yeah, yeah. They got good defense over there. Yeah. Okay. I mean. If Tobias Harris doesn't play well, your Sixers is not gonna win. Man. That's facts. And you, and, and you have a uh, brick, the brick layer. What is his name? Oh my God, I forgot his name. Oh, the Kelly one with the Afro. Kelly Uber. Yeah, he's a brick. I mean, layer. he is a brick layer, but I love when he <laughs> when he goes downhill. When he yeah, runs, I, yeah, I love when he drives it, to the basket. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna be a raw trade center number two. Nah, when, when he back. drives to the basket, yeah, that's that's it. He creates a ton of advantages for us. Right. Yeah, shooting, I don't trust that. 31%. Oh, you know what? Go ahead, Bruce. <clears throat> oh, I'm picking the Knicks because they have OG. I put OG on Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, you're done, man. 
<laughs> nah, hey, hold on, 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 hold on. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Don't do what? I didn't say. Uh, I said the Knicks. If the Knicks play the Sixers, I'm picking the Knicks. Oh, okay. I know. I thought you beat the Sixers. Okay, I got you. I got you. So, so Bruce, I got a question for you. When we play the Toronto Raptors in 2022, why OG didn't lock up Tyrese Maxey? Um, in 2022, mm-hmm. when he lock up Tyrese Maxey, you mean OG? Yeah, why didn't he lock up Tyrese Maxey? Mm, I mean, maybe that was not the plan. So. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Maxey was I mean, going rampant in that in that in that playoff series. I mean, game yeah. one and two. Then I think, Harden. I think they sometimes they overrate OG. Thomas, Thomas talented. Oh, oh. Put names to it. Thomas talented. Be over. <laughs> Put names to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, crazy. If you if you notice, I've been on his neck too. So when he says yeah. a lot of crazy things, so a lot. OG Terrence, man. Now yeah. we not. I'm not saying he's not good defensively, but he's trying to put him on a level, like a like yeah. a. Um, they're like trying Scotty to Pippen Kawhi. type, like, it's, Kawhi. Like, yeah, it's Kawhi Leonard, like yo. No, I heard him. no. Somebody said Kawhi. No, one one of my peoples came in here. That's a Knicks fan. Said, "Oh, gee, it's the next baby Kawhi." Kawhi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, no, they literally said Kawhi. that. Yeah, they be saying baby <laughs> Kawhi, bro. Stop it. It's a Tim you, Tim you, Kawhi. Man. <laughs> yeah, I see. I saw LeBron demolish OG multiple times. Now, I know he was young, and he definitely got better, but he didn't get so much better since his rookie season. Yeah, but I think mm-hmm. OG is a, a top defender in the league, though, man. I mean, he's a top defender. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna say top ten perimeter defender because I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely take uh, straight jacket over him. Um, Her- Herb Jones, I definitely take him over him. I mean, is is Maxi uh, heal? He's not hurt. No, Maxi's not hurt. He was yeah, he was dealing with the ankle issue, but he's okay now. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna go. I don't think the Celtics is gonna win the East. If if the Cavs play to their potential, or the Sixers play to their potential, they could win. But uh, the Cavs have been disappointing me. Like during the season, I haven't said anything about the Cavs. Uh-huh. If you notice, I haven't said anything about Donovan Mitchell. I've been killing him all the time. I haven't said anything. Andre, you, you can testify. I haven't said anything about Donovan Mitchell. Nothing. Right. Nah, nah. Yeah, you ain't say anything. I ain't have I haven't heard you call him a you know brick lady. <laughs> I, yeah, you ain't say anything yeah. crazy. Yeah, I haven't said anything. Even, I've, even, been, you, I've come to your channel and I praise cops. Right. So, you, you said you had the cast win at one point. At one point. <laughs> yes. So yeah, you definitely been cool on Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, I'm not like other people who go overboard. You know, uh, you I'm know love, this I season I've been like quiet. <laughs> this season I've been quiet. So and, so Bruce, what you think the Cavs ceiling is? You think they can get to the conference finals? If they don't go to the finals this year, I think they should. Uh, oh, that's like, Breeze. Oh shit. Oh, MG. What's up, nigga? <laughs> yeah. Bro, you troll too much. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. He's really crazy. Nah, man. Th- 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 this a picture. This a picture of uh, free, C- uh, free KD. <laughs> he talk all that uh, shit about the Knicks, but he got exposed. He got a Knicks hat on. <laughs> Yeah, he, he a Nets fan though. Wait, who are you talking about? I was talking about Breezy. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said it was from t- ten years ago, something like that. Yeah, but yeah. uh, well, I was gonna say, um, what what y'all in here chopping about? Right, the Cavs and the Magic. Playoff series. Yeah. Is that Andre in here? Cause I can't see the picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what up, Andre? What up, bro? Hey, Andre. Um, do you think y'all gonna win? Against against the Heat, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you know, y'all could beat them, but I'm just saying, like, like if y'all win, like y'all y'all play us. Now we play the Knicks because the Knicks is set, the the second seed. Oh, right, right, right. Two and seven. I'm tripping. Two and seven. I'm yeah, tripping. yeah. You're right. I, I know. So Celtics don't want the Miami. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. He said what, Bruce? I know. I know your team doesn't want the. Uh, Why would I not want them? We swept them. 
Yeah, you swept them? them they swept them this season. Yeah. We threw them out. No, no, no. We was was Butler out. playing all those games? We blew them out. Was Butler playing those all those games? We blew them out two out of three times, and Persingas didn't play in front of those what, games. Was Jimmy Butler playing those games? He only played two of them. So I think Derek White missed the game. All right. But uh, what I was going to say, uh, so what do y'all think about the playing, bro? The West. It's today. Lakers going to tank. I could, I could, I, I could see the Lakers doing that. Lakers gonna do a cap. Crazy. Yeah. They're like, okay, cool. We already beat Oklahoma City Thunder uh, as three, two, three, three times. So y'all can see them doing that. But the Lakers, I mean, not the Lakers. The Warriors and the um, Kings are a tougher matchup to the Lakers than the Pelicans. The Pelicans are frauds. For some reason, bro, they can't beat the Lakers. They stay getting blown out by 20, 30, 40. The Lakers not even good. Two How they do the that? The Lakers number they have. They have the fucking Pelicans and the Clippers. Is Anthony Davis, Davis playing? You said what? I said what's going on with Anthony Davis. Oh, uh, 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 well, what happened? You, you seen a report out there or something? No, nah, I was like, no, I know he got hurt. I thought he got hurt last time. Oh, I didn't watch the game. I heard something about that, but I believe that he's going to come back. But they can't win without him. Hey, t- so, so- hey, uh, hey, Bruce, why you, uh, what's up with, uh, I was listening to the panel. That nigga Thomas is talking hell as shit. I said, damn, bro. Hey. Thomas better slow his roll. He going to jinx y'all. That's my, that's not my panel. Speeches. <laughs> it was good, you leave. That day, Thomas got the. What's good with y'all, man? Salute, Cuddy. It's cool, man. What up, you What's going on? We're having man. Pretty sweet. Bruce. Hey. What's up? Hey, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Bruce. Hey. What's up? Well, I don't know. I think, I think this Orlando uh, Cleveland matchup, that's going to be a real interesting matchup right there. Because you got one team who got momentum who's trying to like build towards the future, and then you got another team that just got a lot of question marks, like you know what I'm saying, surrounding the makeup of their team, the coaching. Does Donovan Mitchell want to sign an extension? Like, does he want to be in Cleveland for the long haul? You know, that's not a big market for him if he's trying to, you know, um, enhance his brand or get out there and get endorsed a lot of different endorsements and shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So. I don't. I think that Orlando might be able to win this series. Damn, you think so? Damn. And that's not me being a hater. I'm just looking at the matchups. Like, if you think about it, you, you got Mo Va- Mo Wagner, who's very skilled at his position. You got um, Wendell Carter Jr. You got Jonathan Isaac, who can guard one through five. Yeah, he tough. Bro. Pio, Gary huge. He can guard Mulligan one through five. And Franz Wagner is huge also. And then you got players like Cole oh, Anthony who can get you 20 off the bench. You got Jalen Suggs, who's a 3 and D guy. You got, you got Gary Harris, another 3 and D guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then you can bring in Markel they Folks. Lo- they long and lanky. They should push the ball in transition and who's a slasher. And they got lead so, defense. Yeah, they got size and defense. It's top, top it's tough, three bro. Defense. Like because I, I just don't know what Evan Mobley and what Darius Garland I'm gonna get at times. Like you know what I'm saying? And then it, it's just a question mark, bro. And then we see what happened with Donovan Mitchell last year in the first round against the Knicks. He's so underperformed as like one of the best players in the NBA for him to come out and lay an egg like that, bro. That was very alarming to me. So and he never really got in any of his teams past like the first or the second round in the playoffs, bro. Like he's a good regular season performer, but when the lights is bright, who is Donovan Mitchell going to be? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's still yet to be answered for me. So I I, I mean I can see Orlando winning this series. So what you so okay, so what you say Orlando and what? Um I see Orlando in seven. Yeah, I heard that before. A seven game. But some people feel like some so some fans feel like they don't trust Orlando being y'all. They don't trust them going on that road, going uh, to play Donovan Mitchell in Cleveland. 
in the game seven. They never experienced it before, and they're not a good road team. But you know, but they said that about the Knicks last year, and look what happened. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, they, I'm but, just saying, you, right? But they, but they all. But how you feel about the offense? They, they not. They don't. They, they, they punish you inside. They, they get inside. I'm not really worried about. Like they probably can hit some shots, but they not. Ross really good. Wagner can shoot, bro. He can score. He can I, score. I, I think. I think y'all not really giving him his his like his his just do. They got shooters. It's all about can they get hot or can they be comfortable with taking certain shots now that it's the playoffs and the game slow down a little bit. So, mm -hmm. but uh, their coach Moses, bro, I think they he gonna have him ready. Like he's a really good coach, bro. Like when it comes to motivating and then X's and O's, like he knows how to get his team prepared. And I think that he's going to have his team prepared. And I just don't believe that Cleveland, their whole situation, I, I think they stopped buying into what, you know, saying, um, uh, what's the name? Uh, Bigger staff been preaching, bro. JV, yeah. I, yeah, I think they just, like that. it seemed like they kind of checked out on his leadership. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and that show down to like the last quarter of the season, the Cavs really didn't play that well, but it was just like, the East was so inconsistent other than outside the Celtics that they kind of was locked in at their spot because when they went on their run in the first half of the season, that kind of solidified their, their uh, seeding in the Eastern Conference. Like, you know what I'm saying? If they would have played sloppy and inconsistent like that in the Western Conference, they would have slipped all the way to the play-in spot. So. Yeah, but the Cavs, the Cavs had a lot of, like, the Cavs had a lot of injuries too. He leaves it. They, they, they yeah, did. that's they, what I'm saying. And they still got a yeah. lot of injuries, bro. So you still got players right. trying to play their way back, even to your best player, Donovan Mitchell, not fully healthy, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Like he got, he got the knee thing. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to expect coming into this series. Now, I'm not going to underestimate the Magic, right? Like you said, you got the Magic. I think the Cavs. I think it's going to be a dog fight, but I don't know this what Donovan Mitchell I'm going to get, but I expect him to show up. Uh -huh. uh, I really, cause I really worry about the front court. I want to see what our bigs is able to do, mm -hmm. but you know they, 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 cause, cause they, cause, cause Ben, Ben, ben Paolo should be they, they best player, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to see what that front court match will look like between him and Mobley. You know, uh, Mobley got the defense. He, uh, Paolo got the offense. Apollo uh -huh. six six ten two fifty, so he could he could give it to Mobley. Mobley not that you know big, but um, I want to see the bigs do their thing, hold it down in the paint, grab crash, uh -huh. crash the boards. Don't let because a lot of people compare the Orlando Magic to like the New York Knicks, you know, with their physicality and stuff. They get physical with our bigs and our uh -huh. players. So I mean, I don't know, man. I just I just. I just don't see it, man. I don't. I don't trust the mat. I know you said you know it's the playoff they could, you know, click, but I just don't see it, man. I don't. I don't trust their players. They're young. I know our team is young too. Uh -huh. but we have some. We have some guys with playoff experience on this team. We and we have a a better uh uh. I feel like personnel from last season. You know, when you bring a Donald Mitchell not performing, I feel like we have the uh the the shooters, the spacing, um, in, in, in the series too. Um. So I I think I I just think I don't know man I I don't I I don't know man but I can't let it get packed like I, we gotta get them out of here I don't want to give them um, no no confidence no momentum or right. anything like that you know if Wag Wagner you know I don't know I, Wagner have been I don't think he's been shooting that well on uh -huh. these last couple of games but you know Magic got that defense so it's, I think it's definitely gonna be a dog fight man I don't think you know the Cavs is gonna and the Cavs still trying to get back they trying to get into the floor thing man. So, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I don't know if our guys is like we have two guys that's not that might not play. We have Dean Wade that's out, and we have a guy. We have Sam Merrill that's out, and Dean Wade is a defender. Mm -hmm. That's somebody you put you know on these these guys in the front court, right? Dean Wade is able to do that, and he's he's you know he's been one of the best defenders you know for the Cavs. Mm -hmm. So we don't have that extra body. So you're gonna have to rely on Mobley, you know, Allen and. Throw Niang in there. <laughs> oh, and he, oh, he's, oh, he's cooked. Niang, on, he got <laughs> slow feet. He don't have no D. Come on, bro. Nah, I, I feel like, yeah. But Dude, then, Niang ain't hitting shots, bro. Tell me what else he doing on the court to impact your game, bro. Hey, man, I know he got to hit his shots. I, he, 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 yeah, I don't know, man. 
I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want him to become a liability on the floor. But um. No, what, what do you think? You be honest, bro. You think Niang? You think, you think he's serviceable? You think he, he he's somebody that you can rely on as a, as a, a solid role player or no? I do. I, I think. I think so. Okay. He had the play. He had the play experience. If he, like, if he's hitting his shots, man. Like, if he hitting shots, I okay. think um he's he's able to the uh the guard the interior uh better than other players. Now, now he's gonna get cooked by other play. Like he ain't guarding the perimeter, but I think because his his uh his uh his body size, he's able to like the guard. Cause he did like I know it's the regular season, but he did pretty good against uh Julius Randle when we went up against the Knicks. At the uh-huh. beginning of the season, so I feel like, you know, he 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 do I right. he gonna get he might get in foul trouble. He might get in foul trouble. I, they they gonna be in the paint. They gonna try to get to the line. I expect uh-huh. them to get you know they free throws. Um, but I, like I want to see a guy like I brought it up. I brought up Marcus Morris. Um, uh-huh. I know people be laughing when I say that, but you know, I think Mook. Uh, I think you know, add him to the cast. He was a good addition. He brings something to Cavs. You know, don't have much of. He bring that toughness. I Tough think Mook could play in the series. Uh-huh. And Mook been pretty decent. He he can he can space the floor out. He can he can bang with them boys. He ain't go, he ain't gonna let them you know push him around like other players is. I uh, agree you with you yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you so so he could play in the series. I don't know if it's. I think JB will throw him in the series. Like I don't know when, but I think he'll play, especially if Dean Wade not playing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Sam Merrill or uh, somebody else who can uh, is another threat on a catch and shoot. Yeah, and Sam Merrill is questionable. He's he's got like a neck strain. So I don't I don't know what's good with that. He ain't been playing. Uh-huh. But we definitely like yeah. He we definitely can use him because he lit the magic up last. I time like I think Coro too. I like Coro out of Auburn. Yeah, Okoro got a with I with Isa Coro who had a uh-huh. he had a, a great year this year. He got a yeah. with that. Uh huh. He his shots. The defense shot. The he defense improved defense, his jump shot. Right, right. He improved his jump shot, and I like to see that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You want to see improvement and development. But they're gonna they're gonna try him in the play. They're gonna try him in the postseason. You got to prove that he can get shots. I think he. I think he could. I like what I saw this year. He but he got to prove that he can get shots. Bro, that's all. He just got to shoot with confidence. That's it. Yeah, he got shoot. With, he got to shoot with confidence, man. But, but, I, but he needs to get looks though. See, it, it can't be just a Donovan Mitchell and you know what I'm saying, um, Darius Garland show. You got to get your other guys involved, man, to help. Get, you got to build them confidence on, in playoffs. Yeah, got it. You got to get them going. Yep. Uh huh. I got to get them going. I, I yeah, but I yeah. You said you you said you said magic, man. I don't know, man. You you don't you don't think the you don't you don't trust the cast, man. I'm only not trusting the cast for the reasons that I stated. I, I feel like those are really legitimate reasons, and yeah, and that and all that other stuff in the locker room could be a distraction from injuries. Yeah. People not being fully healthy. It's hard to expect teams to come out on top when you're going through stuff and you're trying to find your rhythm. This is not the time to try to find your rhythm. You got to go into the playoffs with your rhythm, understanding like, oh, okay, I feel comfortable. It's hard to turn it on and turn it off, bro. Yeah, I I, I hear you on that, man. Um, yeah, man. I, I, but for me, I just think uh, I think I think I, like I said, I think the Magic could could probably steal two games. But I I, I want to go up. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I want to go up two on these guys. I want to get the okay the first two at home, man, and, and take care of business at home, man. I, I like I like the backcourt advantage we got. I, I like our backcourt against their uh, play. They got defenders, but I like uh I like our chances with our backcourt. Uh, and I think uh Mobley be able to you know. Uh, try to contain, you know, Paolo. We have, you know, Mobley defender, but he ain't no, he ain't no slouch. But um, is Wilson ain't gonna defend though? I need Donovan Mitchell to become that guy. He gotta take that next leap, bro, and, and give. He gotta give 110 percent on the defensive end if, if he wanna give his team a chance to win. Cause I know he's gonna get his numbers offensively. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like that, and I, yeah, I don't know about that, Elise. That's all. Like, only I only saying that because he's been a better defender. Uh, uh-huh. he, he definitely been bringing the energy on on defense, but he's not. It's the knee. I don't know uh-huh. the knee thing. So he's not probably uh-huh. gonna be that that defender that you 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 want him to be. I think he gonna he gonna try. He gonna do what he do, but uh-huh. I don't think he's gonna have the ability because of his his, his knee. 
Um, hopefully, you know, the week, you know, give him some time, you know, and we see what's up. But uh, yeah, man, I don't know, man. I don't know, but yeah, I, I got Cavs winning the series, man. Uh, but how many uh, games? You said how many games? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna say Cavs in six. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to pick no games. I just wanted to say Cavs gonna win because I would have predicted. But I, 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 uh-huh. I, I think in six games, man. I think uh-huh. in six. We are gonna have to win on their floor, you know. I think. Uh, I think we could do that, man. I know they're gonna be turned up over there, but uh, they're gonna be turned up, bro. They so yeah, excited. I, they they talking trash, right? They, yeah, they been talking. They been talking trash, man. One dude told me they gonna win the NBA final. I said, oh, okay, all right. Huh? Yeah, they talking. They talk about championships, man. Oh my goodness! I right, I right. I'm all about optimistic thinking. You know, what I'm but yeah. let's be real, bro. He told me they win the. He said he said watch and learn. He told me to watch and learn. They gonna win the finals. Y'all gonna oh, see. Shit. I said serious? okay. I said you gotta, you gotta write, you gotta cast that check. All right. You're going to all cast right. that for damn sure. But hey, hey, I'm about to get ready to shut it down soon. Um, uh, any, any, any uh thoughts on your uh your Warriors? How how you feel about your Warriors? Uh, we like Doctor Jekyll, Mrs. Hyde. You don't know what team you're gonna get. So, uh, hopefully. They can, the you know what I'm pull it out. It should be a tough game tonight because I know Mike Brown and them Kings, even though they battling some injuries, they're not going to lay down. You know what I'm saying? So um, we'll see how bad they want. The Warriors can either get eliminated today or they can make a run to the uh, NBA Finals, in my opinion. Mm. But like I say, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what Warriors we gonna see, bro. So. Yeah, I think I, th- I think I think I think it, I think everybody got y'all in the favor though. I think everybody favoring the Warriors got this play in, man. Cause y'all y'all in the ninth, y'all, 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 yeah, y'all in the ninth and tenth, right? Tenth. We yeah, gotta win twice. Tenth. Yeah, y'all gotta yeah, right, right. Damn. I gotta win twice. So, so we'll uh, see how that goes. Damn. Yeah, I think I I think I think y'all gonna do it, man. I think I think uh I think y'all do it, man. Uh, maybe late, maybe Lakers of War. Y'all, y'all own the Kings, man. That's y'all, that's y'all sons. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I would like to think so, but I mean, you know how that go, bro. Yeah, Malik Monk is out, right? Malik Monk has been out. Malik out Monk and Kevin Herter. Yeah, they out. Yeah, Malik Monk was a, a good scoring punch for them. Six man a year. Yeah. Um, it, well, his we still got big car retarded ass, so we'll see. <laughs> Man, y'all, 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 I'm, 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 I'm going to trust y'all to get it through, man. I'm going I'm to put some trust in Curry, man. I don't know. Oh, for sure. I will be watching. You know that. Yeah, man. But uh, any anything else you guys say, at least before I uh, get ready to uh, shut this down. All right. Make sure y'all tune in to my guy, man. Like, share, subscribe on his channel, bro. He got some good stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? I love to see my people working towards something. So you keep building, man, your platform, man. Appreciate that, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, for your basketball acumen. But, yeah, but, yo, make, make yeah, make sure, make sure whoever, you know, tuning in, make sure y'all uh, subscribe to the real easy man, Warriors fan. And he, he, he more than a Warriors man, he be talking knowledge too. So yeah, y'all tap in the <laughs> Elizy too, man. I mean, I'll be I'll be tapping in Elizy. I'll be tapping Oh, okay. In appreciate you, bro. I appreciate <laughs> you, man. I might, yes, you might sir. not see, I might not be in the car, but I catch your videos when you, when you, when you, when you, I'm not, hey, and I'm not, I, and I appreciate that, bro. I'm, I'm very appreciative. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. You already know, man. Appreciate it, though, man. I appreciate you for pulling up, man. Oh, yes, sir. Always. All right, bro. All right, guys. So yeah, man. I you know shout shout day, but I, yeah, I said I wasn't gonna be on too long. But I said I was on limited time, but you know I, I wanted to hear what you know um, other people had to you know say, and I wanted to hear their thoughts um, on the playoffs and about the Cavs and the Magic. Um, shout out to Elizy, uh, T Swizzy, uh, Bruce, Andre. Shout out to everybody you know in the chat. Shout out to everybody on Twitter and stuff like that, and on the playback. Um, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate everybody. Um, Appreciate everybody, but yeah, uh, before I get ready to shut down, y'all already know I, I got. I'm riding with the Cavs, man. I, I, you know, Elise brought up some good points. Hopefully, you know, it don't be that. Hopefully, we can, we can, you know, 
put it together in this playoffs. And, you know, I know it's a lot of question marks. <laughs> and, and I know it's a lot of people, you know, that got question marks. And I know people on the hot seat, people coaching for their jobs right now, you know. But, uh, and, oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't read your uh, – yeah, Magic is six, man. We'll see. We'll see. At least he says seven. He, he got the Magic. I, you know, I appreciate the honesty. We'll see, bro. I got I got calves, you know. Uh let me let me get through the comments before I end it real quick. Uh you said it wasn't expecting Bruce to sound like that. <laughs> Bruce, yeah, Bruce. Shout out to Bruce though. Bruce, you know, Bruce, Bruce good peoples, man. Shout out to Bruce. Bruce is Bruce is a comedian. Rob Bruce I like you want to be a diamond spy. <laughs> yeah, you crazy. Yeah, you tripping, huh, Bruce? <laughs> uh Bruce, Bruce cool though, man. <laughs> He cool, man. Let me see. Uh, DFJ, why Joel joined Team USA? Oh, because he ain't joined his country. I mean, you know, we we with the USA trying to recruit everybody. We trying to get the adventures going, man. We trying to win. We we, we got a point to prove. Uh, <laughs> we got a point to prove, man. I I ain't, I ain't got nothing. You know, I don't disagree or nothing. I hey, it is what it is. He said he got a taste of that American. <laughs> He said he got a taste of that American kitty. Uh, hey, hey, yo, hey, Joel, girl, is this girl? I don't pay. Attention. I think it's girl. Is she Brazilian? I think it's girl Brazilian. I think. Um, yeah, Bruce. I don't know if you still here, but yeah, you, yeah, you. Until next time, Bruce. For sure, I'm catch you on other streams, man. You know, catch you on the pull up and everything. Got you. Uh, just one baby podcast. Uh, make sure y'all saw the just one, just one baby podcast. You know he. Uh, Celtics, you know, he, he's he's the op right now, you know, when we see him. But Celtics kind of integrated too, so you know, you can tap in with him too if you want. Uh, but yeah, shout out to everybody, man. I appreciate it. Shout out to Luke too. Uh, humble people for pulling up, man. But yeah, man, Cavs. I'm, I'm riding with the Cavs. He said, I'm, <laughs> I'm was saying some wild stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let like, y'all. Uh, let, 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 let humble live. Yeah, he, <laughs> he said humble saying some wild stuff. Hey man, look. Shout out to humble man for pulling up, man. <laughs> well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Humble, man. Um, trying to see, do I got anything else to say? I, I don't think I got anything else to say to y'all, man. I uh, got the comment. Shout out to Andre, though. Um, six is in the six is in the heat, man. Ho hopefully, y'all get it done. Playing is today, man. We're going to see what happens. I'm definitely tuning into the playing today. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm going a, I'm to a leave. Yeah, I'm going uh, to definitely be back, man. I don't know when, man. But, yeah. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. You know all that good stuff, man. Shout out to everybody, man. But y'all already know, man. Let's get this. Let's get this dub, man. I, I got the Cavs. Let's get this dub, man. Y'all already know, man. Let them know. Go Cavs. With the 49th pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Imani Bates from Eastern Michigan University.
understanding the moment, okay? Taking a lesson, learning our lesson, and then applying all the things that we talked about. The effort that you guys put in on the defensive end of the floor was phenomenal, okay? That was textbook Cavaliers defense. And then the offensive end of the floor, we shared it, we attacked the paint, we got what we wanted, okay? That was a phenomenal job. Congratulations to this group, okay, for achieving something as a unit that we've never done before, okay? But we ain't done yet. I don't know. All right, let's go. Yes, sir.